sandy shore might not look like much, but there are some cool and crazy critters just below the surface. Low tide is the best time to get down here. You can find information about tides either in the newspaper or on the Met Service website. You also need a few things before you come out. A bucket, rope, a sieve, a corer, shovel, measuring square, and clipboard and record sheet. Mum, is this a good spot? Once you've found your spot, lay down the rope so it makes a square, one metre by one metre. First look for evidence of life. You might see burrows or trails. Then use your guide to identify any critters you can see. When you have recorded all the animals you've found in your square, it's time to take some core samples. You can use a 450 gram can as your corer. All you need to do is remove the top and the bottom. Push the corer into the sand and dig it out with your shovel. You need to do this for all four corners of your rope square. Taking core samples means you can find all the animals hiding under the surface. Wow, that's interesting! When you're done, remember to return the animals and the soil back to the quadrant. All you need to do now is go home, get onto the Marine Meter Squared website, put all your information up, and you've made a cool contribution to Sandy Shore Science at your beach.